Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. Today I'm in Berlin, BCB 2019, together here with... Alex. From? Stowning Whiskey. Denmark, yay! So you speak perfect Danish. I do, I do, yeah. I don't. All right, so we'll talk about... English. We'll do it in English. Yeah, do you speak perfect German? It's really bad. It's really bad. So like my, like my, <laughs> so like my Danish, right. All right, so very good. So, um... Isn't this the same story? A couple guys just got together in the sauna and said, hey, let's make our own whiskey? <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. What's the story here, Stowney? Yeah, well, I, it's a long story, but I'll try to make it short. Yeah. Well, actually, my, my good friend Martin, mm -hmm. he was on his way to a summer house in the yeah. south part of Denmark, yeah. and he heard this radio program about whiskey. Oh. Yeah, and it said it's easy to make whiskey, but it's difficult to make a good whiskey. Okay. So he went down, he talked to his family, and he said, guys, why don't we try to make the first Danish whiskey? Uh, and they said, but we don't know anything about whiskey. Yeah. Let's call some friends. Right. And they called up some friends, and basically we're nine guys now yeah. mm -hmm. uh, that started up making our first whiskey in a butchery, yeah. an abattoir, yeah. uh, a place where you chop up meat, yeah, yeah, because exactly. Martin's, Martin's father uh, is a butcher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could start up there. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make an art bag from 1977, yeah. similar to that. So a peated whiskey, mm -hmm. all local, local yeah. grain, uh, direct heated stills, yeah. double distilled, scotch, you know, scotch style. Yeah. Got some peat, mm -hmm. made the first whiskey, oh, alcohol, a new make. Yeah. Didn't know anything about thing. Is this, is this good? Is this bad? Okay, yeah. uh, luckily, we met Jim Murray. Yeah. A couple of luckily, we met <laughs> Jim Murray, the Pope, the master, the god of whiskey, the Bible writer. <laughs> Bible writer, exactly. Yeah. And we had like one and a half hour together with him, yeah. where he said, this, is probably, this will probably go and be one of the world's best whiskeys if you continue what you do. We were like, what? This we don't know what we're doing, yes. but we're doing it right somehow. <laughs> Lucky you! Exactly. Yeah. This reminds me of Artbeck from the end period of the 70s, he said. We were like, you're kidding, you're kidding us, you're kidding us. No, no, no! So, basically, it's about how we produce, right. how we produce our whiskey. So, we floor malt everything mm -hmm. at a distillery. I love the machine you invented for that. I mean, come on, that's crazy. Yes. So, if you know anything about whiskey, you would know that floor malting is pretty time-consuming. Yeah. It's hard. You need to turn it by hand, or you did that in the old days. We found out. Yeah. We need to fix this. We invented a machine that could turn the barley, you know, automatically. Yeah. Uh, to, yeah, we had moans working, and it's, it will be very tough for moans to do uh, the, the turning of the barley. Uh, so we started up in a new, f new place, a new farm. Uh, so you got a little bit of a financial help, right? Yeah, well, actually, uh, the first one it was our own investment right. uh, because no banks wanted right. to support a Danish whiskey. Hello, we are Danish whiskey makers. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> we want to make the best whiskey in the world. We're like, no yeah. way. Like 1977 Art Bake. Anyone who understands what Art Bake is on from 1977, they're going to say double no. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. So, well, so basically, we, we bought this farm and started up yeah. making our single malt whiskey yeah. distillery. So we made a non peated and a peated. Yeah. Uh, after a while, we wanted to do something extra, and we remembered that Jim Murray had said, why don't you try to make a rye whiskey? Because that's my favorite type of yeah. whiskey. Mm -hmm. We were like, but rye whiskey? Isn't that American? <laughs> Isn't that, you know, t Las Vegas, yeah. poker, you know, gambling, stuff like that? Uh, uh, I think of Pennsylvania, Maryland, but why not Las Vegas, yeah? yeah. We didn't know anything. <laughs> and he said, no, 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 this is good stuff. Yeah. And as you have rye in Denmark, like in Germany, a lot of rye, or, or Roggen, yeah. um, we said, why? Okay, let's try it out. Yeah, yeah. So we made the first one, and after 17 months of aging, he said to us, guys, this is amazing. This is, this is crazy good. Sell it, you can't call it whiskey, but sell it and get some money into your company so you can develop. So we did. So today we have a rye whiskey. We have a peated whiskey, yeah. we have a non-peated whiskey, we have a heather smoked whiskey, we have a lot of different things, yeah. different casks, but are narrowing in while we do the testing. So basically, um, the, the rye we have here is the Sorry. <laughs> yeah, most, the too low. Yeah, most produced product, yeah. most sold product. And one of the problems is you can't buy it usually, it's always sold out. Even in the distillery, sometimes it's. I, my friends have gone on vacation up towards and uh, up there, and it's like, oh, sorry, sold out again. Exactly. Yeah. So it's it's been a it's been a big problem. Yeah. It's yeah. a bit difficult to market your product if it's sold out. Yeah. yeah. Here's our wonderful product. You can't buy it, but here it is. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's better because yeah, we scale up production. We have more bottles now. Sold it. We start selling in Germany yeah. from April. We start selling okay. selling our rye. Chaos. What's chaos? I think someone actually made me a, made a chaos for myself recently. Okay. Yeah. Uh, chaos is uh, batting. So when when we do a bottling, yeah. we take three casks of rye whiskey, yeah. 
one cask of peated whiskey, one cask of heather smoked whiskey, of both single malts, mm -hmm. and one cask of non-peated single yep. malts. Mix it together. Exactly. That's chaos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Quite chaotic. Uh, but the name chaos is from an old Danish prime minister. Oh. Uh, his name was Torvalds Downing. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And probably the most famous Danish prime minister right, in, the, right, in history. Right, right. And he had an election quote that said, choose Downing or get chaos. So we had to make the chaos, of course. Of course you had yeah. to make chaos. Very good. And you have also a smoked rye there at the moment. So nice bottle. Yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, quite an experiment. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had a good friend, a bartender, that said, why don't you try to make a peated alcohol, yeah. but no whiskey flavor? Right. We were like, as we have everything in-house, <laughs> you know, the floor malting, peating, everything. We could do it, right. so we call it curious because this is curious. How does exactly. how does rye accept smoke? Turn around, <laughs> curious, right? <laughs> it's T-shirt, yeah. yeah curious. Uh, Danish, exactly. Almost whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I like. And uh, if you notice, yeah, you will see there's a cross yeah. over the whiskey because this is non-aged. Right. Uh, it's a bit like mezcal okay. in flavor and, and taste, yeah. um, and you use it for making uh, the smoky notes in your cocktail. Mm -hmm. It won this year in World Whiskey Awards as world's best new make. That was quite a surprise yeah, for us. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of you know Scotch, Irish, and Japanese <laughs> distillers came to our you know our table and said congratulations. You know, yeah, yeah, very uh, good. And what's really really interesting is you expanded, and what you didn't do is you didn't you didn't size up. You added how many how many of those now sets of pot stills do you have? So we have 24 pot stills, uh, 60. <laughs> normal people put one big pot still there. You're not normal, are you? No, we were, we were afraid that if we took one big pot still, we would lose the character of our whiskey. Okay. So small stills, but a lot of them direct heated, so open fire under 24 pot stills. Yeah. It's kind of insane, we know. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, are you crazy? Uh, yes, a little bit, but that's what that's maybe our secret. Yes, yes. We need to be a bit crazy and yeah. to, to trial and test. We don't want to make a Scotch whiskey or Irish whiskey because they are very good at making Scotch whiskey and Irish whiskey yeah. or Japanese whiskey. We want to make a Danish whiskey. Yeah. But it's on the old traditions on Scotch whiskey. So how they made it, double distilling, floor malting and all that. Uh, an, an unclear wort today. All distilleries have a clear wort. So we went back in time and said, so how is it? They do it. So we, we, we just did that. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, it's yeah. difficult, yeah. it's not easy, it's a, it's a long road. Yeah, it it's, not jump, it's not jumping the low part of the fence, this is the high part of the fence. But we like it and we love it. Yeah. Great, great. Anything in the future we can look forward to? Yes. <laughs> so, so as we, I said, we do a lot of testing. So one of the things we're going to release in December is our Christmas edition. And it's, um, it's a smoked whiskey that's been on port wine casks. So it's very dry, it's okay. strong, yeah. a lot of smoke in it. Yeah. In January, we have our, um, our test on uh, rye whiskey. Mm -hmm. So it's a rye whiskey that's been aged in mezcal casks. Yeah. Gives a lot of like, like umami flavors in that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one of the best whiskeys we've made, okay. or the both of them actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the tests we've done for some years are now starting to you know, finalize yeah. and, get, and find their own path. Yeah. It's going to be very expensive. Looking forward to that. Will that come to Germany as well? It will. All right. So in Hansa Spirit, I'll be there, I hope. And I will ask for a sample and I will test this. All right. Very good. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany together with... Alex from Stowning Whiskey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>